Okay. don't okay welcome back to the channel you guys um yeah i'm gonna stay like this and it does look like i have a black eye maybe i'll put that as my my title anyway um 
today is Saturday and I just got off of work and I have to work tomorrow. So I don't have to. They called and asked if I would. So that's what I'm doing. I work seven months out of the year if I'm lucky because last year we got seven months in because um, we didn't have snow. And it wasn't too cold. I know the guys haul asphalt in the winter time. Um, so we can haul up pretty much. It's usually the season ends about oh, the end of November. It used to end at the end of October. So anyway, here and there. Uh, I work tomorrow. So a lot of building stuff that I had planned is not going to... It's not going to happen this weekend. I do have a few things I want to go through with you, though. Right now, I just got back from Princess Auto. I went and spent something, um, some more money, 20, 24 bucks, and it's it's uh, you can see how big it is, but it's for water, and I figured it's a good purchase because I don't want a big round bottle and I'm gonna need it for this uh, fall and winter. I am gonna do a little bit of traveling. I'm gonna go to the island, Vancouver Island and back. And then I'm gonna try to work on my camper through the rest of the winter, do some snow removal. Um, but those big round bottles take up so much space and I figured that would be really good and then I got out in the parking lot and I'm like I should have picked up two of them because I'm gonna need one for gray water and I just it they are for water and I really like the color <laughs> anyway here nor there they weren't too bad price so maybe I'll go back and pick up another one for gray water so I, I'm in this dilemma um, I priced out a diesel heater. Now I'm having it professionally installed. I talked to a gentleman in Newfoundland who has been in the diesel heater business for 44 years. And he told me to get an SPAR, uh, E-S-P-A-R. And he has seen with the, the cheaper diesel heaters, and people installing themselves. He said he can't count the fishing boats and the truck, the um, big tractor trailer trucks and vans that have caught on fire. Um, so he said if you're gonna do it and you can afford it, which I really can afford it because it's pretty pricey, but I'm gonna have a good quality diesel heater put in and I'm going to get it done professionally because that was my whole worry from the beginning. I did volunteer firefight for quite a few years and fires are one thing that really scare me and I don't like lithium batteries either and they have lithium batteries so I'm really holding back on that whole diesel heater thing and I know it's probably the best thing for me, but I'm also thinking, should I put in my, my stove? Should I just get a power station, which has a lithium battery, and run a heating fan? I don't know what to do. I guess it's like I can hear comments and stuff and advice, which I would love for you to do. But I still have these these concerns, and I'm thinking, okay, do I put like right there where the spice rack is? Do I put in a little cupboard in there, or do I put it in a wood stove? I don't know what to do. So that's my big dilemma. Um, I probably will put solar panels on. I have one already. So I'm going to purchase a Renology solar panel, I think, because the other one's Renology. So I figured I'd, and I got it probably like four years ago. 
So I figured I'd keep the same type of solar panel. I think that's just wise to do. And then I'll hook it directly into my power station and I'm caught between a Jackery or a Blue Eddy. And I was leaning more to a Blue Eddy. And I did watch a video the other day about Blue Eddies and some of the problems that they have. But I think they all kind of have problems. So if you want to leave a comment about that, that would be really great too. So right now, um, I'm going to head to Canadian Tire. I just need to pick up a serpentine belt for my daughter's van because her power steering pump went. Now refurbish their 400, new their 600, installed with a hose anywhere from $900 to $1,100. So that's getting up there. Parts, Mopar, uh, that's your Dodge Chrysler, I think. Um, after a certain year, you, all the vehicles before that, uh, they cut off. So anything that's, say, let's just, I don't know what the year is, but let's just say 2014 and anything before that they don't make the parts anymore so I'm gonna have her save up for a refurbished pump steering wheel pump and get herself a hose and then hopefully this other one from pick and pull will last her enough time and she's going to get a manual this is what I have and I'm gonna start doing things on my own too alternator starter get an extra serpentine belt i am going to get a heater core i've already got it on in my shopping cart um just things like that just a few small odds and ends in case they they go then i'll have them tucked away in the back of the van in a certain part with my tools and i'll have this and i'm going to study up on things and start doing things on my own because i'm getting my intake manifold finally looked at and I'm not sure if it has a little leak or if it's coming from the heater core but um, I'm gonna have them do it because it's something that needs to be done here right away and um, I just don't have the time to do it but this winter I'm really gonna study up a lot of mechanical stuff I think it's a really good idea and I just I think everybody should really look into maybe you know I'm suggesting that with the prices of things going up right now and um, just the cost of living like fuel and food and and everything like that I just think it's um, it's really important to start looking at maybe a few items every time you go grocery shopping or if you're in the tool like in a hardware store or if you're you know, wherever you are, um, maybe just pick up a few things so that if the supply chain goes down again or if things just keep rising in price, um, you're not caught, you know. And a lot of people are struggling. I struggled for years. And now that I'm working, now is the time that I'm going to really think smart and look around at everything and say, okay, well, look, you know what? I should pick up extra of this or maybe I should pick up a spare thing of this or maybe I should pick up a few extra dry goods um, in case things are really really expensive and I'm in it's in the winter time and I'm on a very tight budget just I think it's really important for all of us to maybe think about I don't know being maybe a little bit more thrifty and thinking ahead I don't know I'm not telling you what to do I'm just just see what's going on. I'm very observant and um, I worry about people too. And when I look at doing things for myself and trying to think ahead, and I think a lot of time when you're in van life, you only, everything is very critical at times because if anything goes wrong, it can really become quite disastrous pretty quick. And having extra fuel on board if you're on a trip or having a few extra parts 
having a little bit extra money in your bank account in case you need a tow or something or need something fixed or you know that's all just kind of planning ahead and being prepared and and I think that's something that maybe right now with this crazy world that we're living in that we should all do I don't know I just thought I'd mention that um, I have somebody that I work with and this is totally a different topic but um, they fly off the handle quite a bit and it's usually on big jobs big paving jobs and I've really been doing some thinking about that lately and I wanted to share with you about this because I always say in my videos be grateful and be happy for what you have and where you are in your life because there's a reason why you are where you are and it necessarily doesn't mean that you have control of that but I think it can be changed and I think it can be changed through attitude and what you develop in your heart and soul and this person because he flies off the handle all the time um, it's something that festers and I'm not saying that it's because he's unhappy I just think it's something that's habit forming and I think if you smile more and you push yourself to be smiling at people more it has a way of coming back at you and it fills up your day and it grows and it's just like the negativity that also grows and it also festers so one grows in in light and in delight and and it's kind of like a warm blanket or a big hug and the other one is negative and it's dark and it's ugly and I just wanted to leave you with that because I've just seen it in my own personal life and um, just think it's something I wanted to mention because I do say be grateful and some people roll their eyes or go serious come come see my life right now or hey I've struggled I've gone through quite a bit of life and um, I don't know what happened um, I just got happy uh, just I don't know I think it's all in the way that you don't have a lot I don't see my kids that much um, I'm alone pretty much I live in a van I have a storage unit that needs to be cleaned out and I struggle in the winter time I have a dog that leaves hair and sand all over the place but he's the greatest guy in the world um, I don't know, I think it's all in your attitude, you know. Anyway, I will try to keep this kind of short. I have a way of rambling on, and I really apologize for that. Um, I did go to the post office today to pick up a parcel, and I will leave a little clip after this video. Um, so that you guys can have that post office box and please if you feel that you would like to do this please send me a sticker uh, send me a postcard I don't care if it's a piece of paper with a dirty dog print on it with the name Pippi the Chihuahua I don't care um, that way when I put the sticker on and I go and look um, coming up to the back of my van or I'm cleaning my van whatever I see these stickers and I said well that's from Sarah she lives in Minnesota um, national park stickers state stickers province stickers um, your town uh, your country if it's not in Canada doesn't really matter it's about me being connected a little bit more with you guys on the other side of this film or this camera or the other side I'm on this side you guys are on that side and you're all together I'm over here alone so send me a sticker I thought it would be fun I mentioned that in I think it was late December um, 
early December because I know I was finished work and I was building out this floor here and I mentioned that I thought it would be fun so if you feel like it I'd love to get some stickers postcard anything and I will share it with you guys when I get some and if I don't get any then I'll be pouting no I won't um I just won't be sharing anything and everyone will be going she never got any stickers <laughs> anyway and she has a black eye and no one sent her a sticker <laughs> anyway that's uh that's all I have to say I hope everyone's doing well we live in a crazy world and I think it's really important I think a lot of things are really upside down and a lot of things really irk me but you have to think different about it and judging people is not necessarily it's such an easy thing to do we all have done it but I think if we my mom always said to me treat others as if as the way that you would want to be treated and we don't know that person's upbringing. We don't know that person's background. We don't know maybe how unloved they feel or what have you. And it's easier to lash out than it is to hold back, turn it around, and be kind. I just wanted to say that. Because I've seen so much in the last couple of weeks and just, you know... I'm just like, if we don't all get on board and start turning things around, things fester. Everyone jumps on that bandwagon that maybe might not be appropriate or right. Um, I could go on for a long time on that subject, but I'm not going to. Okay, everybody, I will be back soon. I'll leave that post office um, address for you in the next clip. And I will be back. There's a few things I want to show you and a couple of things I want to go over. So I hope you'll stay tuned and we'll see you really soon. Okay. So my guess is it's the wife or the girlfriend kicked him out and he was taking his mattress no matter what. <laughs> I want you guys to leave a comment and we'll, we'll take a vote on this because he doesn't look like he's homeless and he does have proper means to uh, overland with his mattress. <laughs> it's not funny, the poor guy's going through something rough obviously. So here we have some time. I have chives and garlic chives, which I got my planting in late. And I'm not really thinking that they're, I'm hoping they're going to come a little bit better. Here's my opal basil and echinacea. And what is this? Oregano, sorry. I just had a big hornet on me. So I didn't scream. Rosemary. Lemongrass, you know, those two aren't coming all that great either. And then my basil, more basil. My cilantro is coming good though. So I have some peas, yellow beans, green beans, and some carrots. And these are in horse troughs. So this is my first garden really. Um, did a little bit when I was younger, mostly raiding chili peppers which are not coming very well my lettuce is coming somewhat and then my radish is doing really well and then I've got some cauliflower which is kind of doing okay and microgreens and we got some spinach here and then green peppers green peppers are actually coming up and those are green onions, so they're coming up too. But these weeds are in the way. There we go. 